Hello, this is God here here saying the Shoker Ship and today we're learning about the seed. I'm just gonna pass it over to Mommy like you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mommy, otherwise known as Shauna, and he's right. We're Gallahue Family Discipleship. And today we're going to talk to you about the sower and the seed. And specifically, we're going to talk about the stony ground. You know, Matthew chapter 13, verses 7 says, Other seed fell among thorns, which grew up and choked the plant. Well, um, a little further down in the scripture in verse 22 in Matthew 13, Jesus says, The seed falling among the thorns refers to someone who hears the word, but the worries of this life and the deceitfulness of wealth choke the word, making it unfruitful. You know, we never want to find ourselves in a place where uh, we are found unfruitful for God's kingdom. However, um, there are many that receive the seed which is the word the gospel of Jesus Christ and they become unfruitful because it talks about two things that actually began to choke out that seed or that word and that is worry and the other is the deceitfulness of wealth right Jeremiah yes, yes okay yes, yes. All right, Jeremiah, so we talked to you guys in our lesson about the things that could distract you from being a productive member in the kingdom of God. Yeah, that was Judah. So what was, Judah was extremely distracted. He is four years old, but he was extremely distracted. But yes. Jeremiah, what are some of the things that can cause us to lose focus on what God wants us to do and draw us away and choke us out? Uh, what are some things that we... Bad. TV shows, bad, TV bad shows, people, bad people. We should hang out. We should hang out with bad games. Bad and games, bad, yeah. And bad and bad things. Bad things. Well, yeah, that's what we talked to them about. We talked about that there are things in our life that are going to influence us. And we want to make sure that we have the right influences. Just like, you know, we planted a garden this year. We've talked about it a few times, especially during this parable lesson. But when we planted the garden, we knew it was important for us to go and take... What were we taking away from our plants? Weeds. Weeds. They would stick out. Yeah. They would suck out everything they needed. They did, didn't like they? Vampires. The nutrients. They were like vampires sucking out the nutrients. So we had to go and we had to take those weeds out of the ground. And if there was any vines growing up around our plants, we had to take away those, didn't we? And what happened when we cleared the way out? What happened to our plants? They started to grow, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, and they produced vegetables. We we grew tomatoes and lots of different peppers, and they were productive once and we corn. and corn and green beans and cucumbers and one hundred dollars. And he wishes we could grow one hundred dollars. Uh, yeah. Fun fact: When Jer Jeremiah grows up, he is going to own a money factory where he just produces money and gets me everything I want. He's a good kid. Uh, May yeah, break the law, yeah. but he's a good kid. Uh, la, 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 he wants to take care of his mommy. La, 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 That's enough. La, la, la. Okay, so we want to make sure that in our lives we are not the seed that falls among the thorns we don't want to be choked out we want to make sure we're good soil and that's what we'll talk about next but we have to make sure that in our lives we do not allow worry and we do not allow the deceitfulness of wealth you know uh, the success of this world can definitely take our focus and our eyes off god it will cause us to look to the left and the right when god says just look at me just look straight forward at me and i will give you rest and I will give you peace and I will give you success. And most importantly, I will give you eternal life. And there is nothing more valuable than that, is there, Jeremiah? Yeah. So we just want to encourage you that every day that you get up, and in order for those thorns not to choke you out, you exalt God. You take time to lift him up and give him glory. You encounter God. You take time to get into the presence of God. Pray. Listen to him. Sometimes it just takes us being quiet and listen to what he has to say to us. That you edify yourself by reading the word of God. That is a great way to listen to God. And that you engage this world for Jesus Christ. You know, don't just talk to people about the new Starbucks drink. Don't just talk to people about the sale at Walmart. Don't just talk to people about the play on the football field last night. But let people know about the goodness of God. Until next time, Jeremiah, tell them. It was, it was 10 weeks to Christmas. 10 weeks.